first of all if, if you have a wonky or malfunctioning charger you will definitely have this problem secondly if your pc's battery setting profile is set to the wrong profile on your pc you would also definitely have this problem and then finally rising temperature can play a huge part in this problem and i'm going to be clarifying these three problems and telling you exactly what to do in order to fix this problem so stick around it's going to be a short one whenever you plug in your charger to your laptop your system is meant to increase in performance not decrease in performance but whenever you have a case where your pc is hanging whenever you plug in your charger it could be as a result of a wonky charger and when your charger is wonky it is a situation where your charger is having a problem and it can't give out a constant amount of current for your laptop and in the process is either breaking in current and connecting back due to maybe a cut a tiny cut in one of the wires inside there but it's basically a hardware problem so if you've had the charger for quite a long time now the least you can do is to try and replace your charger and you know get a new one for your pc but also for those of us that have gotten a new charger and this problem still continues there's also the second thing that i'm going to recommend it also do but it's going to be on our laptop so let's just jump on my laptop screen and you know i'll explain it better you get exactly what i'm talking about so guys the first thing we need to go and do is to go over to our windows menu and you know open up the windows menu area so we can be able to type in the control panel and search for control panel so the first option we see right here i'm going to just go ahead and click on it or press the enter on our keyboard so on this page so on this window right here this is our control panel right here so make sure that um, you're viewing your icons on you know the smaller icons so make sure it's selected on the smaller icons on the top right hand side of your screen so i'm just going to go ahead and select small icons and you're not going to be looking for the power options so search for the power options and click on it and it should take you to this page that said choose or customize a power plan so it says here that a power plan is a collection of hardware and system settings you know that manages how your computer uses power so we are going to keep going and you know you get to you know say exactly what i'm talking about so we're going to go back to the change plan setting and click on it so we're going to skip all this and go over to the change advanced setting option and then click on it so on this page you're going to find this list uh, in this little windows right here and you know first of all we need to go back to this little drop down here and make sure it is, it is balanced because it is the only option here but if on this area you have more than one option just make sure you're selected on the balance and you know brackets active so guys on this place the first thing we're going to be targeting is on the graphics card you know we're going to be ta targeting our graphics card so now we can up the performance whenever we are charging our pc so uh, on this place we're going to go over and look for our graphics card in my case it is the intel our graphics setting so you all might be the nvidia radeon so there are different graphics cards sure so just click on the plus icon before the name so i'm going to click on my own and then you should also bring out the power plan and um, you know added to the name of your graphics so just click on the plus sign also so guys you have these two options that says on battery and plugged in and on battery is simply when your laptop is not plugged into the light and you're using it without it charging and then secondly it says plugged in which is obviously when your laptop is charging okay we are going to be targeting the plugged in area on our pc so go over to the plugin area and click on this balanced and then make sure it is set to maximum performance and if it is set to minimum battery life it simply means that you know if you plug in your pc your laptop simply adjusts and bring its processing power down to a certain level to save your battery life and you know depending on what you do your system could hang because uh, you know it has dropped in performance and we don't want that so we either want it to be in balance in order to save battery or put it to maximum performance so i i left mine in balance i don't know why but you know i advise you guys to put it on either maximum or balance so i'm going to just leave it in balance because my system works fine you know as it is on balance so we're going to now go ahead and uh, you know close this up by simply clicking on the minus sign before all of them so the next thing we can do is to scroll down to the end to see if we have any other graphics card so in my case i also have the amd radeon graphics you know installed on my system so i'm just going to go ahead and click on it again and while plugged in I, as you can see i have set my own to maximum performance another thing we can look at is the processor power management so we can just go ahead and click on the plus icon you know and maximum processor state open it and then unplug in make sure it is 100 percent so make sure that when they are plugged in and you know on battery it is both on 100 percent so we're going to go ahead and close this and then close this as well and i don't think there's any other setting we might as well want to look at but if you know what you're doing at this place you can also check for other things that you feel like you know you need to apply and change so once we are done we are going to go back to the apply right here and click on the apply then go to ok and simply press on ok but guys another thing that could cause this your system to be having such a problem is you know rising temperature like i mentioned um at the beginning of this video whenever you're using your laptop as it is charging you could be stressing your laptop battery and it could cause your laptop to overheat depending on the kind of system you have and this can result to you know a laggy system and we don't want that so um the only tip that i can give to you guys is to just make sure that 
wherever your laptop is while you're using it while it is charging or even if it's not charging just make sure it's on a flat surface and yeah guys that's all i have to give to you guys regarding this problem for this video hopefully it helped you and if it did for you don't forget to press that like button so that's all from me i'm the cracky guy and i will see you in the next one bye